So I read a story of a girl online who asked her audience if it was weird for a girl to approach guys, to try and figure out what the guys liked or didn't, to make conversation out of thin air like guys are supposed to, and to basically get a guy's number and go out on a proper date. The girl is a strong believer in women approaching girls because she thinks men don't know how to approach women without coming off as creepy weirdos. She again asked the guys in her audience if they would appreciate if a girl approached them and tried to ask them out. She then revealed what we all know that for women, it often seems uninviting when guys approach them and they just think a guy's creepy unless he's really attractive. She then shares an anecdote of her friend who actually did try to flip the script and asked a guy out. So she shares the anecdote and describes the whole scenario where a friend tried to initiate a conversation with a guy with some cheesy line, then tried to talk to him about the weather, and kept wondering why the guy wasn't really showing interest. She kept on initiating conversation and only received one-world responses from the guy and ended giving up saying that she just couldn't do it because she just didn't know what to do. So you know exactly how it is the other way around as well. I wouldn't say it's strange for a woman to approach a man, but if she does, she should be prepared for the same likelihood of rejection as men. Women shouldn't be shocked if the person tells them he has a girlfriend while he's actually lying. After one rejection, the majority of women will likely give up. Men are terrible at approaching people, so maybe women should start doing it instead if they come across as weird. In my perspective, women will criticize males for bizarre behaviors that are extremely similar to what they themselves do. Simply put, women are more likely to excuse themselves than to do the same for men. Welcome to the harsh truth of attempting to pique someone's curiosity. Men are expected to amuse ladies by coming up with amusing one-liners, conversation starters, and interesting ways to keep the conversation moving during this period. Now that the situation is reversed, women will make little to no effort. The woman who did this in the story did not like it and immediately wanted to stop dating. For a long time, men have tolerated this from women who barely respond and have make it harder for men to approach them too. You start to wonder why guys put up such an effort for such a prolonged period of time. It's because it's just not easy. It's really hard to try and make interesting conversation out of thin air. And yet, men have to do this because women won't. And men have to suffer the consequences as well while women just go on about their day and reject the next guy approaches her. So, when we say that men don't approach women anymore, there's not a single answer to this, but a combination of many facts and truths about society and gender dynamics at play today. The era we now live in has changed significantly from how society and culture was seven or eight decades ago. When I think about these developments, one thing stands out to me in particular. Why are males approaching women differently now than they used to? What took place during this period? Men chase women around and make idiots of themselves, but do they really want to be with them? No matter how far away from you a woman was, there was no quick way to get in touch with her before social media, smartphones, and the internet. Since there was no other way to interact with women back then, males would physically approach women to show that they were interested in them. A man had to follow social norms by dressing appropriately and even talking to the girl's parents before asking her out on a date. Men can now interact with women whenever they want, from wherever they are, and women can do the same for men. Back then, it took a lot of work. You had to organize everything on your own. It was easy and, I guess, a bit more exciting. Since you didn't have the option of looking her up on social media, you probably had an image of the person in your head that you saw and liked. And that's what prompted guys to approach the woman face to face and ask for a date. Since that was the way things were back then, most people dated inside their own groups. Distance was a real issue. Today, you may have a live online conversation with anyone, anywhere in the globe. Therefore, both men and women did not have access to such luxury in the past. These luxuries certainly allow people to spend less time and money on socializing and going on dates, but they also lessen the authenticity of such interactions. So, why aren't men approaching women anymore? I believe the reason is because males typically weigh the advantages and disadvantages of any decision before acting. The disadvantages of approaching women today outweigh the advantages by a wide margin. Today, approaching women nearly always results in humiliation, being called a weirdo, 
or just being ignored and socially shunned. Why? Because most males are perceived by women as predators or desperate men. They will be fine if they already know a guy and want him to contact them, but that is another matter. But it is simply not worthwhile for a male to approach an unidentified woman. There are too many risks. Social embarrassment, total ignorance, and a generalized dread of rejection are just some of the reasons why men choose to avoid approaching women. If a man approached a lady respectfully to start a conversation, she would likely embarrass him more often than not. In a video I saw, a man makes an absolute mess of himself by trying to talk to a woman without being rude or odd. The woman fabricated the claim that the contact was unusual and posted it to social media for laughs, attention, and perhaps a shot at becoming viral. I found myself thinking why in the world I would want to approach a woman today as I saw this happen. To understand why this is happening, we also need to understand that different women treat different guys in different ways. I want you guys to think about social standing and how one's value affects how they are treated. Think about times when you were approached by a homeless person in your own life. You went on the defensive right away and determined not to talk to them or give them anything. The same is true for women. They're big on social status and image. Even though their circumstances are significantly worse now than they were a century ago. Women must constantly be extra cautious since a man may take them against their will at any time. However, the issue arises when you witness a woman publicly humiliate a man for merely approaching her in a public place with onlookers. If we dig a little deeper, we can only come to the conclusion that modern women no longer value the average guy or men in general. Do you believe Mark Zuckerberg would be treated the same way by a woman who is known for treating the average men that approach her with contempt? Not at all, right? Zuckerberg is a billionaire with influence and authority. She wouldn't have the audacity to disparage him. You can see that everything ultimately boils down to a man's status and perceived worth based on how he behaves, communicates, and approaches the woman. As I indicated before, a woman will treat different guys differently depending on how she perceives them. She will treat the man as though he is useless or inferior if she doesn't believe he is better than her. She would treat a man with respect and be more accepting of him, though, if she feels that he is superior to her. Watch the interactions between a woman and her employer. Consider who she would treat respectfully if they came to her, the boss or the junior. Modern women clearly have no respect for men anymore. And I think the majority of guys have decided not to talk to these women because they have realized this. Men have made the decision to just refrain from any actions that enable women to treat them disrespectfully and to belittle them. Men have noticed that women's treatment of men has worsened over time. They have made the decision to put their name, integrity, and respect before the disdain and denigration that women have shown them. Seriously. I'd be much better off avoiding women myself because, I promise, I've heard tales of girls harassing women who then calling the cops on them. Obviously, there was nothing wrong with the men.